this is an article that came out January 17th, 2018, NBC News. And I will leave the link to this article in the description box. U.S. withhold hurricane emergency loan sought by Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico was trying to get a $1 billion emergency loan for um, all of the damage that was left on the island by Hurricane Maria. And it has been withheld temporarily. They've been waiting all this time and received nothing. Okay, Trump tried to say, well, Puerto Rico already have cash, but the cash they have is already allocated for running the island. It's not funding for the hurricane. So right now, as it stands, Puerto Rico still did not get any type of um, funding so that they can continue to fix up uh, their island after the disaster. Um, and I remember <laughs> this mayor right here was kissing Donald Trump's behind. I mean, this governor, the mayor actually was fighting him. The mayor of San Juan was at least fighting back with Trump, trying to get things done. So this is where they stand. I think, um, you know, power has been restored on, they're saying, um, nearly 40% of the power uh, remain in the dark in Puerto Rico. So 60% of the island is back on after the hurricane. And I believe is what, 112 days, they're saying, since that hurricane. So, but this is where it stands. They are seeking funding and it's being temporarily withheld. Um, the administration of Trump through FEMA and extorting the people of Puerto Rico and our government. So it submits itself even further to the federal control board and austerity measures. <laughs> um, and, you know, many of the people had to leave because it just took so long for power to be restored in Puerto Rico. And they're right here in mainland America. So many of them are here. Puerto Rico is seeking hurricane emergency loans as it struggles to restructure a portion of its 73 billion public debt and reach agreements with certain creditors before more than two years after the government said it was able to pay its debt obligations. They can't pay that debt. They can't pay that debt. Um, a study released Tuesday by an economist, including Nobel winner Joseph Stiglitz, found that part of that priority to the hurricane Puerto Rico need to cancel 50 to 80 percent of its debt to regain economic stability. And, you know, and I have you ever seen something like that after a disaster? If a disaster strikes, I, I just never seen a debt held over somebody's head when an emergency happens, but that's what they're doing to Puerto Rico. Debt restructuring will not be a sufficient, but be sufficient, but a necessary condition for economic recovery, the study stated. Puerto Rico needs more than just the restoration of debt, uh, substantiability. It needs a new economic growth strategy that replaced the old one that has clearly failed. Well, they're one of many places that's in debt, you know, but still, I would think you would be more than willing to restore a U.S. territory. I mean, Trump has been whining about this debt that Puerto Rico has owned since the hurricane hit. 
you know, maybe this is a wake up call for those of you that think <laughs> that you are classified as white and you can see they don't see you that way. See, you're just good for padding up numbers in the U.S. census. Anything outside of that, you're not viewed as white. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Also, join me over on Black Junction um, TV and BlackSpot.com. Peace, family.